Hey everybody, um, for the people that are keeping track of my progress on my FB Albatross, you know, the plane that I'm making, the ridiculous plane that I'm making with the 20 foot wingspan, um, I, I was playing around with it uh, a bit earlier and uh, I, I'm, I was working on the tail section, the uh, vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer. Um, prior to that, you know, I, I hadn't really done any any work on that and while, while I'm waiting for you know some of my other parts to come in I figured I better get started on that uh, I, I pretty much have I, I, I've actually got quite a bit of that done um, there's some other things that, that I, I want to work on um, but it, it's kind of big and, I've, and it's kind of big yeah uh, I, I've got it pretty well put together um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you you know kind of, kind of small scale um, how, how, how exactly I, I put my my uh, the, the tail section together. Now, give me a second. I'm gonna get the camera repositioned. Uh, I'll probably turn the radio off too. I don't need that on right now. But uh, give me a second, and uh, I'll show you how I did that. Okay, like I said, um, you know, what, what, what I wanted to show you in kind of small scale, just because I you know I've got some scraps laying around here, and um, <clears throat> I show you pretty much what what I did. Uh, to make my uh, to make the the big uh, horizontal stabilizer uh, with the, the elevator um, what I did is I took I took four, four, four pieces of uh, Dollar Tree foam board uh, obviously I, I, I put I put tape on the on the side that's going to be the outside is just clear packing tape um, so just just try try to pretend that you know that this this little piece here is is um, uh, 20 inches by th uh, 20 inches by 30 inches. Uh, what I did is I, I took a mark, uh, you know, r r r roughly one third uh, of the. Uh, see, this this would be the 20 inch side, and I took took it at you know approximately one third of of that length, and I made a mark right there, and I went ahead and I folded. I folded that over like that, um, so it you know it gives me you know what you see there. Um, and the, you know, I took, took took my hot glue gun, and I just I put put some hot glue on there like that. And I took that and I folded that over. Let that cool. <clears throat> there we go. So that now, you know, when, when I, uh, oh, that's kind of popping loose there. Um, okay, so now, now what I've got is actually is, you know, it's approximately two thirds of the original 20 inch piece of foam board. Okay, um, you know, try, trying to save some time, I've already done um, I've, I've, I've already done the other four. Then what, what I did is I took I took the I took what, 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 one piece here and I put hot glue on one half of it like this. And I took another piece here and I centered it. Obviously, because this is small scale and this is just going to be trash anyway. I, I haven't actually marked the center, so we'll see how close my eyeball comes out. Doesn't look like that's going to be very good, but <clears throat> okay. So we've got that glued on there. Now I'll take my hot glue gun and glue some more on the other half, like that. And I took my third piece. That, that I've already made, you know, like that. And I put that on here like this. There we go. So now what I'm left with is a piece like this. Okay. Uh, now, okay, so right, right here I've got one, two, three. I've got three, three pieces of the Dollar Tree foam board that I've bent over and I've glued all three of them together. Now my, my fourth piece 
I took it and I cut it in half. I, I already cut it in half, you know, trying to save time. Actually, here, here in like 20 minutes, my wife is going to be home, and you know, because of our work schedule clashing, I haven't seen her much, so I wanted to spend some time with her. Um, so anyway, uh, so I've got, I've got these two here. Uh, you know, I've got this this one, uh, the one, one piece of foam board cut in half, and hot glued that to this side. Like that. Oh, I, I don't don't really know if I mentioned, but you know, okay, because of the way I've got this folded, you know, it creates that step right there. And this this is folded. It creates that step. What I'm doing is I'm taking the two steps and kind of putting them on top of each other, you know, like that. Okay. Oops. Need uh, another stick of hot glue. Hot glue on this side. There we go. And I'll take my, my my other half that I cut earlier and set that right on there. Oh. <clears throat> so see what I did there? Is I took this piece and I put it on top of this piece. And then that gives me one heck of a piece of, oops, there we go. It gives it what it, 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 it gives me back, um, you know, some 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 width right here. It get um, and then I've got, let's see. So if 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 here, you know, this is a thirty inch piece. Let me uh, let me draw on here. Right here's the joint. There we go. Maybe that'll show up better on the camera. So what I've got is I've got a piece of foam board here, piece of foam board here, piece of foam board here, and then the other fourth piece is these two halves right here. So that, that gives me uh, a t t total of 60 inches uh, for the the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, that was how I did that because I was trying to figure out how, how can I make you know the, the the horizontal stabilizer out of the, out of this foam board and still keep it rigid. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> I think I'm getting cold. Um, but right, right, right here was the start of it, and I figured what I would do is I would take a you know probably four, four, maybe five carbon fiber arrow shafts and um, run, run them through here for a little rigidity. So uh, with, with that being said, uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, the, the, the finished product you know, of my horizontal stabilizer with my vertical stabilizer uh, somewhat put together. So hang on a second, we'll get the camera repositioned. Okay, so here, here it is. This is this is what I've got done. I really wish it wasn't all white, but you know that's the way foam board is. Um, you see back back over here is uh, two of my my wing sections that I'm working on, and um, here the, the the piece right here. You know that that's that's the big uh, horizontal stabilizer. I've got my vertical stabilizer up here, and actually if you see the two black lines right there and right there in my vertical stabilizer those are actually uh, two carbon fiber arrows that are in in here you see it's actually two pieces uh, and I, I sandwiched uh, the carbon fiber arrow shafts in there I uh, figured that would give it a little rigidity now I, I, I do plan on running um, you know so, some kind of tether line or you know uh, some kind of bracing from the vertical stabilizer down to the horizontal stabilizer just to make sure make sure that that stays rigid uh, to connect it you see down here I took uh, a piece of aluminum uh, it was actually just you know a uh, piece of scrap that I had laying around here uh, I believe it's an in in inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter 
um, I believe that's uh, one, one sixteenth inch thick. Uh, this is just a uh, cheap aluminum uh, angle, and I cut them to uh, uh, I believe they're fourteen inches. I drilled uh, three holes on the bottom, three holes on the top. Come around here to the other side. I did the same thing, and th these here are just um, you know a couple of nut 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 um, nylon bolts. Uh, I've got nut nylon nuts on the other side uh, to hold that uh, in place. I, I think that's going to work pretty well. And um, <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, uh, for my rudder back here, uh, actually, I, I, I don't have this cut yet, but uh, I, I was planning on cutting this at uh, so to where the rudder will be five, five, five inches. Um, It'll be you know, five inches wide. Uh, let me get my tape measure. Boy, this is hard to do one-handed. Just a second, bear with me here. There we go. Actually, the rudder stands. Yeah, that it was tw twenty inches. That was the 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 width of of the, uh, of the foam board. Um, so the height from the bottom to the top is twenty inches. I have a f uh, f f uh, f five inch wide rudder. My elevator is, uh, it's, you know, as I said before, it's two, uh, two 30 inch pieces of foam board. So that's 60 inches. And my, my elevator, I do have cut and hinged. Um, that is also five inches. Let me, uh, let me get over here. Maybe we can see it a little better. That's a nice, nice five, five, five inch wide elevator right there. Um, is five, five inches too much? I don't know. Is it too little? I don't know. We're going to find out. There's actually a lot about this plane that, you know, when I've had questions about it, the answer is I don't know. And we're just going to kind of wing through it and see what happens. But let me come over here. Man, you can see the size of that beast right there. I mean, that is one hell of a rudder right there. Uh, I'm just hoping that it works as good as it looks because I think it looks pretty good. Um, as you see, I mean, there's my, my two two wing sections. The but the bottom one right here is uh, it's a 60 inch 60 inch section of wing that is actually the far left side of the wing, and the section here on top is a 40 inch section that is the section of the wing that goes between. The left outermost and the center king post, which is down there. And then there's a 40 inch section right here, and then a 60 inch section right here. And all them ribs, you guys remember that was 87, indi 87 individual ribs that I cut out for this bugger. Um, so yeah, uh, there, there, there's my there's my vertical stabilizer and my horizontal stabilizer. I just wanted to show you guys a little video on how I did that, and you know just. Trying to trying to keep you guys posted on my progress. Uh, I, I certainly appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I re really appreciate you guys' comments that, that I've been getting, good ones and the bad ones. Um, you can see, you know, I mean, on the you know piece that I just put together for you, I mean, it's awfully ugly as far as the joints, you know, and whatnot, just because I you know whipped it together real quick. But I, I assure you, the 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 bot the bottom of my my 60 inch uh horizontal stabilizer really really looks nice i really took some care and um got that together and where, where, where the joints are where the foam board comes together i did run some hot glue um down the seams right there to help hold them together and then i covered it with clear packing tape so that the glue doesn't stick to anything uh, i did do that um what you know while i'm still waiting for for some of my other parts to come in i'll probably work on you know getting you know probably just try to decide on what kind of support you know do i want on my uh on the vertical stabilizer you know do i want you know like support something i was thinking is ha having like you know uh having like a like an eye bolt or something up here at the top or may maybe uh, put a hole through here with like a grommet or something and run a, a rope uh, through there with a couple of you know light, um, light, light, lightweight bungees I actually have some like six or eight inch bungees 
here that you know they don't pull real hard but you know it'd be enough to keep some tension in there you know do i want to do that or you know do i actually want to get rigid and maybe put um, a couple of pieces of um, you know bent uh flat aluminum stock uh on there um you know kind of like what you see on the, on the on the on the underside of the wing of like a piper cub you know they have those supports that come down from the wing down to the fuselage you know do i want to do the same thing on on my my uh my, my rudders my rudder here uh, I don't know uh, I'll probably play around with that a little more and I will post more progress as I get it appreciate you guys watching take care